Welcome back everybody to some more Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. This is of course my playthrough of the entire Zelda timeline. And we're gonna speed through today. Not quite a speed run, but you know, we're gonna speed things up a little bit. Last episode we got partway through the fire sanctuary here and we got upgraded digging mitts. And uh, you know, it lets us burrow underground and stuff, which is very cool. So we're just gonna melt these away. And then we can dig back under the ground here. See what we've got to do here. If we press this button, that does bugger all. Okay. Got to go all the way around. Come on. Come on, Link. Keep going. There we go. And that does that. Slides that door open right there. And now we can go through. Very good. So I feel like I've recorded, this is my fourth episode today, I'm recording kind of like a bulk this Saturday. Um, and then kind of do an episode here and there throughout the week. Um, I'm already planning Minish Cap stuff, I'm already planning even way, way, way further ahead than that, but I've been planning Breath of the Wild stuff and things to do after I've finished all the Zelda games, so, so it's been quite a fun thought process recently. So, I can share one of those things with you guys, which is the Breath of the Wild plans. Which is, you know how these episodes are very much episodic in, I start them by saying welcome, and you know, I do the intro, and then I end them by saying bye, kind of thing, you know? Um, well, that's going to be different on the Breath of the Wild videos when we get to March, or whenever Nintendo release the Breath of the Wild. I'm just going to do full recordings for like multiple hours, and then cut them up. So they're not going to be the same. They're going to be a little different. There we go. I had to focus on that one. Oh, we got an... We just picked up an arrow. Great. Right. No, we don't want that many. We want this many. And I don't want... I didn't want to shoot there. Right. Hop across this ruined bridge here. Is there a dude? He's shooting me. That was very close. So yeah, it's, I'm just going to do like massively bulk recordings of Breath of the Wild and then get to a point where... <laughs> this guy looks weird. And we'll get to a point where, you know, there are a bunch of separate episodes. I'll just cut them up and release them. So there won't be like... It'll be just a big continuation, basically. Oh yeah, you've come a long time, right, pal? I don't know who you are, which you're from, but I need your help right now. Um, dot, dot, dot. I'm not asking you to do nothing though. Set me free and I'll tell you a big gigantic secret about this room. It's a secret about the treasure, okay? Okay. How am I gonna manage to do that? Uh, I need to get... This is gonna be awkward. I need to get the, the thing to put in the froggy mouth. Let's head backwards here. Shuffle as far back as we can go. So yeah, that Breath of the Wild is going to be fun. It's just going to be very different from all of these. Um, I've also been planning everything Minish Cap related, which is going to be pretty sweet. I'm pretty excited for the Minish Cap. Let's see what we've changed. So yeah, this door here is now shut, but this one over here is now open, which isn't really going to help. Oh, but this one is now open. Sweet. Okay. So now we can take this. Go over here and bloop. I really dislike those underground sections. It's just bothering me how kind of annoying they are. Alright, get some more rupees. And we can let this guy free here. Alright, what's this secret you're gonna tell me, bud? Haha! -ha! That's sweet! Flavor of freedom. And uh, thanks for helping. Free me, sucker. You really think I'd divulge from secret? Oh. Those goes from my brother's secret collection. Are you friends with my brother? I helped him. Wait, wait, wait. There's something you want to give me. Just, just wait there. I want the secret. He told me there'd be a secret. Here, take this. And this is going to be... It's a survey. It's the map. Same return, please don't tell anyone that I captured you. Okay, it's a secret. Uh, you didn't capture me, sorry, you, you got captured. <laughs> hey, we meet again! I'm sorry, we kind of haven't overheard that conversation. It seems like one of my guys is giving you a hard time. Sorry about that. 
But that stuff you're saying was all true. There's a breeze coming from somewhere in this room, I tell you. I can smell it. Figure out the information in that chest. Sweet. This is gonna be the dungeon map. Slides money across the table. That's not much I'm betting. This is the dungeon map. Ah, slides money back across the table. I was right. So there's a secret room here. Oh, there is as well. Look at that. Whew. This room has a fake wall somewhere. On the side of that wall, there's another room sort of here. The ground underneath us is full of monsters, so don't go tunneling too much down there. Feeling adventurous, there might be a hidden route. Give it. How? How? So let's zoom in. So we're here, and the hidden is like opposite us. No, fake wall. I know. Don't you don't have to tell me again. No, let don't talk to me anymore. So it's this wall. No, it's that wall right there. No, stop pulling out the fairy link. Oh no, it's not. It's not that wall. It's. It is in that room from before. It's this wall right here is fake. Can I bomb it? This isn't gonna work. Oh, it is! And there we go. And I guess we gotta go tunneling. My least favorite part of this temple. The tunneling. Look at this rupee here. And I'll meet you guys at the end, because I'm just gonna cut all this out, because this is the most boring part of the game. Maybe I should have told you guys there's these weird centipede things as well. You'll see me fight one at some point. You just don't really need to fight it here. Right. Ooh, we've got another treasure chest. Bets on it being a key. Bets on it being a key. It's a key. So now if we have a look at the map, see we're in this room, we're getting pretty close. Some statues over here. And then maybe this is the boss key coming up. It's gotta be pretty close. Right. Up we go. And down we go. That was it. We did all that. Well, this is where we've gotta go back to. All the way back there. And here we are, back at the locked door. Go through here. And head into the last part of the temple now. I feel like this episode is gonna be pretty long. But here we go. Last section here, if we go on the map you'll see we are very much in the last area. Okay. Alright, let's get rid of these guys. Any other ones around? I don't see any more. Let's get this down. I actually don't know if this is going to work yet. I think I'm just going to have to use it to hop across for now. It's not going to move. We have to go up here and trigger the lava, I think. Which I think should just be through this door. Oh, the guy's waiting for us, so it must be the right way. And good job on that block. You, you really kept that block up. Alright, do that. Go check over here. Alright, underground we go again. You're a pain in my backside. Look at him. Ah, green monster. Can't believe they're following us down here now. Because I have some fun with him. Hey, hey, you're a Mogulatov now, be friend. As long as the way ahead of me is clear, you'll never catch me. Yeah, guess what? I got him, finally, jeez. No, oh, you got me going then, you must have boiled me, baked me. Huh? I know those clothes, they're from my brother's secret collection. He gave them to me. You know my brother? You're all green, I thought you were evil. Don't get angry, sorry guy. You're doing so good. Look at all those rupees on his backpack. Here you go. Some monsters seem to be looking for something on those cliffs. You're heading out that way too? Take care. I don't want to get skewered. I'm heading back to the boss's place. Oh, he's gonna open the door for us. Thanks, buddy. See what is in this chest here? 
We got a piece of heart. Two to go. Right. There's something in this room that we can do. I'm gonna shoot that bat for one thing. The keys! It's a keys! I'm usually so good at that. But I keep forgetting. Because these guys don't really look like keys. They're all kind of purpley and icky. They look more like Zubats. And across to here. This will open the door back for us. But if we go under here, we should be able to unblock the lava streams. And there we go, this should be it. And there we go, the lava can now flow again. Oh. Uh oh. Guys, what have we done? Oh, big mistake. Big mistake. Link. Quick. Quick, please, Link. Link, you're going very slow. Link, this is this is very slow. Link, do you not know the, the meaning of fast? Ooh, ooh, emerge. Well, that was a little... Well, too close for comfort. But the lava is flowing again. Which means we can head back down that way. And go on a little bit of a ride. It's this way, isn't it? Back through this door. And down here. I'm gonna shoot these guys. And wait for this thing to fully make itself. And we wanna be over there. Over there. And there we go. We're getting pretty close now. Is this right here? It's actually just inside the fire sanctuary. We can save here. But yeah, this right here is the boss door. And this right here is an annoying blue moblin. The coblin, moblin. The coblin. Should be another annoying guy right here. Right. So now we just have to get the boss key, which is in the next room that we haven't been in, right here. I, I think that's it anyway. I have missed one of the chests, so hopefully it's not that one. I don't think it is. Let's see what this says? The bridge of decision. Choose your path and believe. What? Oh, is this the sleepy statue place? Because that's a statue that... That's definitely an awake statue. Ooh. I choose Sleepy! Look at that! Sleepy won! Oh! That was Slippy. Get this. So, I think, you know, at this point, let's, let's see what happens if we do this. Oh wait, actually we need to play the harp first. There we go. So let's see if we can do the rupee thing. Which is drawing a diamond. Well, a rupee shape, which is... That was a terrible rupee. That was awful. That was the worst drawing I've ever seen in my life. Let's just forget about that. That never happened. Right, two Dark Lizalphuses at the same time. I will definitely have to use my shield on this one. Ooh! Tried to shield, but that didn't go quite well. Alright, one down. Whew! Good hit. He's gonna do his curse breath, which we don't want to hit us. And... There we go. Nice! We took two hits, I think, that fight, that's it. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
So yeah, we came in that way and we want to go up this way. Up the windy staircase. Very Ganon, Ganon's Castle-esque. Well, this is now reminding me of Twilight Princess's uh, Hyrule Castle, where you got to leap wolf to wolf. I don't know what that means. It's definitely what it, not what it's called. Oh, drop down. Oh, we've got some more cursed keys following us. Hop. And keep going up. And another hop. And another hop. And another hop. And we're back up at the top. Oh no. Yeah, we just got cursed. Which means we can't use weapons, we can't use items, we can't use anything. Let's just leave this room. And there is the boss key. Bring light to each statue in accordance with the number of wings each possesses, from least to most. When light resides in each statue, the king's treasure shall be yours. So this has got the least amount of wings, correct? So... Oh no, we just step on them. Right. And then... This dude's got one. And there we go. The boss key is ours. However... Things are never that easy. So now we have to do battle with the centipede. So we're gonna wait for him to pass and do that. Wait for him to pass again. Oh, I missed him. And there we go. Centipede is down. They're kind of fun to fight. Um, you know, they're they're a little bit a little bit weird. There we go. We can go collect our king's treasure, as they call it, and head back to the uh, the boss door. You got the mysterious crystals. This mass is made up of faintly glowing square crystals. Several are missing. Oh, does that mean I have to do more? I don't want to do more. Just the way we came in. I think it is. So we want to go this way. Nope, this is the way we came in. Other way, other way, other way. We want to go this way. There we go. Quickly break these pots. I should need half a heart, but thanks. And we are done. This has been a fairly long episode. Uh, it's going to continue to get longer. Uh, so hopefully you guys don't mind that. This is, a, again, the last-ish temple. So, yeah, now I have to figure out how the hell to do this. Oh, I think I got it. I got it. There we go. Boom. So, yeah, this is now going to be the boss battle. Then we have to get the flame and such. So this episode's probably going to go... Uh, on the fairly long side, but that should be fine. As long as I press record, which I don't remember if I actually did or not. Which is always a good sign, because I don't know. I don't know right now. Maybe I have, maybe I haven't. If I haven't, this is going to be post commentary. But if you're listening to me now, then I think it's fine. Look at those, look at the Gates of Time stuff up there. Such a cool room. This room's got some amazing carvings. Carvings. Oh, hello there, Link. I see you're still among the living. Fancy meeting you here. You, we seem to bump into each other all the time. Oh, it's no coincidence, though, is it? You and I were bound by a thread of fate. Look at these old drawings. 
Until I found these, I was upset about the little stunt the goddess's guard dog pulled at the gate of time. What was that twig's name again? Impa. Well, never mind that, because these drawings suggest the existence of a second gate of time. This news has just filled my heart with rainbows. I've been a busy boy searching here and there for and everywhere for another gate of time. And yet, I couldn't even find a single clue. Since I know I can be honest with you, I'll admit I got a little sulky. It was all frowns all around. The thought of never getting my hands on a darling young girl again was, well, more than I could bear. But then... Then I found this place. The prospect of a second gate of time has made me positively... Giggly! That girl, your adorable friend, she will be the she will be instrumental in bringing about the revival of my master. And though I feared she was now quite beyond my reach, I despair no longer. But before we talk any further on the subject, there's still the outstanding matter of your punishment, Link. Do you remember when I told you that the next time we met, I'd make your ears bleed from the sound of your own screams? Well, I've been thinking, perhaps corporal punishment is a tough, <laughs> is a touch harsh. I might be willing to forgive and forget, if you'll strike a deal. All I ask is that you tell me where I can find the other gate of time. That's not too much to ask, is it? Oh, and don't you play coy with me. I know you know. So why not let me in on the fun? Fierce Link. He's getting ready. Such behavior. A mischievous boy like you needs to be dealt with firmly. I must warn you, I won't go easy on you this time. Gear him battle too. Lovely, aren't they? You'll find the supple skin of my arms tougher than any armor. Doesn't the shape just leave you breathless? Behold, such beauty, such a pure form, such an exquisite physique, such stunning figures. Yes, I've pretty much got it all, though there is one teensy, tiny thing I lack. Namely, mercy. Come to me, Link. You and I were bound by that thread of fate, destined to fight. So come close, Link. Meet me in battle, and the thread of fate that binds us will be soaked crimson with your blood. And here we go again. Girahim. Demon Lord Girahim. Yep, we have to do this thing again. Oh man, I'm gonna get my ass kicked. I hate the battles with this guy. I'm not doing well already. As you can see, we can't really do anything. Oh man, he won't let go. I don't think there's anything I can do, like I can't shoot him with my bow or anything. I'm just gonna keep doing it, see what happens. I don't remember this boss fight much at all, I just know I dislike the fights with Girahim. He's better than me. Hey, I'm mad enough to admit it. He's better than me. Right, come on, let's keep doing this. Keep going. Oh, he's just spawned four this time. Maybe this is maybe this is actually the battle. I just wander around with a shield deflecting things. It doesn't sound quite fun. Yeah, he's definitely got four. I'm also feeling a little dizzy for some reason. Maybe it's all this circling around I'm doing. Okay, I've been doing this for about 10 minutes now. And uh, he's still he's still not doing anything but spawning four. Maybe I'm just really bad at this. I don't know. But I feel like this is going to be the longest episode out of all the episodes if I have to keep any of this in. Come on, gear him. Just be done with. 
This isn't a game anymore. This is time on a YouTube video. Oh, he's just... He, oh, he's changing. He's licking his lips. Oh, he's got two swordy swords. Battle is about to begin. Okay, he's going to kick my ass. Oh, that's good to know. That's really good to know. Yeah, I'm about to die. Oh, no, wait. No, now he's disappeared. Oh, God! He's, what's he doing? He was just kind of like standing there. Oh my god. What the hell? Jesus. Okay. Go on, gear him. This is a fight. Yeah. What are you going to do now? I'm going to deflect your things back at you. Boom. Don't like that, do you? Come on. Come on. Fight me. No, he's doing the jump thing. Oh, man. If I didn't double flip, I think I could have got him there. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So there was going to be punishment where I was going to be screaming and my ears were going to be bleeding. I ain't hearing it. I ain't hearing it yet. Okay. Alright, licking your blades, you weirdo. Oh, that felt pretty good. Oh, we must be getting close now. More deflections. God. That's a trick I'm not very good at dealing with when he just appears behind me. Yeah, licking his blade again. Weirdo. Right now, jump. Whew. Come on. What you got? I'm gonna do his flip. And there we go. Dunza. Enough of this foolishness. I cure him. Demon Lord. It shouldn't matter how powerful your sword is. You're still nothing. Not just a human. A human child. And yet you prevail. You filthy scamp. You have awakened a wrath that will burn for eons. I swear that, that to you. Whatever it takes, it will drag you into eternity of torment. <laughs> oh, he said anyway, he was in pain. Whew. Done. It's very rare my hands get sweaty playing games. That was one of those times. It was a tough fight, especially the first part. I had to figure out what the hell to do. The second part was a little bit more like, straightforward. And there we go. We've got a heart container. Your life has increased by one. And he's now fully replenished. And there we are. That's 15, right? Look at that. Right. Let's go through to get the final flame. Here we are. The fire sanctuaries. Flamey your flameness. I wonder what colour it could be. We've had green, we've had blue. What else could the colour be? Hmm. Purple? Yellow? Oh, it's red! Of course, red, yeah. Who would have thought? Here we go. Final upgrade for our sword. Or is it? And there's Fi, popping out, doing her weird stare into the fire like a child that doesn't know what he's doing routine. Hi, Fi. Here we go. Doing a thing where she's blasting around the place again. Not as cool as the second one where she flew up into the sky. But hey, what are you gonna do? The blade glows red. And it undergoes its final ish transformation. Look at that, now that is something that we've seen before. The flames of Din have imbued your blade with a sacred white light that demons revile. 
Something not quite right about that Master Sword quite yet, but we're almost there. Yeah! Boom! 26 episodes in and we finally have a sword. And the third triangle lights up. And there we go. Master, now that it has been tempered by the last of the sacred flames, your blade has finally revealed its true form. You now hold the Master Sword. With this sword's great power, you can awaken the Gate of Time within the Sealed Temple. I recommend, I recommend you make your way to this location. And we will do next time on The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Thank you guys so much for watching these last few episodes. It's been fun, and it truly has been. Uh, it's been uh, a crazy one. But uh, here we are, back out on the Volcano Summit. And I'm going to save right here. And next time, I'll meet you guys heading towards the green beacon in the sky. And then we're going to head back down to the sealed grounds. To the temple um, there, the sealed temple. So I'll see you guys then. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!